I have a question for you. Do you feel that there are just never enough hours in the workday to get all of your work done? Now, surely this is a dilemma faced by a lot of us in our modern day workforce. So in today's video, I'm gonna share with you my top three strategies that have really revolutionized the way I work to get more done in less time and also help you do exactly the same. If you're new here, my name is Michael and I'm a higher education leader that is based in Los Angeles, California, and I hold my doctorate in organizational leadership. Over the past 20 years of my career, I've had a lot of challenges and obstacles that I've faced. So my goal on this channel is to provide you with strategies to help navigate some of the challenges that you're having through actionable and also practical advice. So strategy number one to get more done in less time is to really prioritize and focus on prioritization. You really need to think about what are your important tasks and what is most pressing. Obviously, things that have deadlines are going to be more pressing and things that are you know more project based could be prioritized a little differently and have a bigger longer time frame of getting accomplished now a good way to go about this would be to really go in and look at all your tasks and classify them as urgent important both or neither and that way you could really identify what's truly pressing and what work you really need to get done so that you can get more done in less time and also when it comes to prioritization you really want to focus on those most impactful tasks in your work at the beginning of each day this way you will have small wins at the beginning of the day and be able to continue to thrive throughout the day by accomplishing something that was very impactful at the beginning of your day one of the most important things too about about prioritization is to really sit down with your work at the end of each day or at the end of the day in general. So what I like to do is go through what I accomplished for the day at the end of the day and think about what are my priorities for the next day. That way I don't come into my work the next day flustered or not knowing what I'm going to do when I set up myself with the task that I have to accomplish the next day and have a clear direction the night before, it really provides a lot of focus so that I can get more done in less time. My strategy two is to match your work with your energy flows. Now, as you all know, our energy levels kind of go up and down throughout the day. Sometimes we have high peaks of energy where we feel really energized to do our work and other times where we just feel kind of low and don't really feel like we have a lot of drive to do our work. And so for me personally, I really love to schedule my deep work, that work that I really have to focus on to get goals and objectives completed at the beginning of my day. And so I block off a window usually from 6.30 to 8.30 or 7 to 9 to really accomplish those deep, meaningful tasks that are go going to push my work forward. And then when it comes to the afternoon, I often have a dip in energy and a lot of us do, usually between like 1 and 4 p.m. A lot of us will have a dip in energy. And so in the afternoon hours, I like to schedule some meeting time time and also some time for doing administrative work, work that doesn't require a lot of creativity and work that can be done at low levels of energy and still be effective. And then usually after that early afternoon period of doing that admin work and emails and things that don't require a lot of focus, I usually have another block from say 3 to 5 p.m. where I also go back and focus on a specific task that needs some deep work and really focused work. So that's just what works for me personally. You know, I have high energy levels at the beginning of the day, a little lull in the middle of the day, and then high energy levels at the end of the day. And so you really have to determine what's best for yourself. So the best practice for this would be to go through a week of work and really jot down how you're feeling at each moment when you're doing specific tasks. And that will help you determine where in the day you have the most energy and where in the day you have less energy so that you can really navigate where to place those areas of deep work and where you could place other areas of administrative work and emails and things like that that don't require a lot of strong focused activity. Now, I hope you're enjoying this video. And if you would like to see more of this content, please be sure to like and also subscribe so that you can be notified of all my new postings. And then strategy number three is all about the Pomodoro technique. Now, this is the idea of doing 25 minutes of focused work and then five minute break. Now, oftentimes we go into tasks thinking we can plow through this we could get it done in no time we're just going to do all the work in one bout 
not take any breaks. And that really is a detriment to our work. It really will impede the progress. It will really make you feel stifled and kind of overwhelmed in the work that you're doing. However, I've found whenever I take a chunk of time, and sometimes I do this over 50 minutes, so I'll do 50 minutes and then a 10 minute break. You have to kind of identify what works best for you, but I would start with a 25 five where you're working for 25 minutes and then take a five minute break. And oftentimes just that five minute break or that 10 minute break really helps revitalize me just take a walk maybe go outside get some sunshine and when you come back to the work you're almost refreshed as though you've taken a, a very long break but it hasn't been so long that you can continue working and get that job and that task accomplished that's it for this week everybody but before I go if you have a full-time job and you're really struggling to find more work-life balance I want you to check out my other video here where I share my top strategies to help you get your full-time job done in just 25 hours hours a week. Have a good week and I'll see you next week. Take care. Bye-bye.